Hey folks, welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs as of the Eastern Conference Finals. This is where we are heading in, but if you're always tuning in to the NBA Playoffs, Game 3 and 4 will be happening here for the off day, because we will see them again very soon. But right now, we're sticking here right toward with the next game of this matchup for Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Bruins have already made a great start with the win. But it looks like the Carolina Hurricanes really want the answer back. They were trying to like make that one concern, but hmm, there's one way that we're going to get that one a shot. So right now, it is going to be a very tough game in between the Atlantic and Metropolitan Division that battle the number one seed. They're not saying that it's anybody, but there is one way that might be going for a goal and take the second win. We'll find out who will take it from here. As right now, it is about to be heading in between for the next commentary. The next one I will have is me phone. And it will be along with along with the other contestant. With fan and for the center ice we have is OJ. I'll be back with the post-game show of the free star players and total statistic games of game two. And tomorrow night will be the abs and the crack in the rematch at Ball Arena and Mile High. Let's get started! Game 2! Here we go! It's Game 2 at TD Garden. Mifon along with Fan and Center Ice is OJ for the start of the second game of the Conference Finals. Puck about to be dropped and we're ready to go! The puck is dropped and we are underway. The courtesy line of being here as follows. We have his Brad Marchand. Then we have his Pat Bergeron. Our on the outside, we have his Orlov. Then from the middle of here in the inbounding, we have it across to the, uh, another player of uh, 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 Taylor Hall. And then we have his Hathaway. The starting goaltender for the Bruins will be Linus Olmark. The second time we are always seeing that Linus Olmark has ever been playing it before. For the start of it, it did turn out one of the biggest plays. There might be one way that we are looking for uh, Lena Solomar. If he has wild save, he will try to do this one again. Last time for second overtime was incredible with 61 saves this game. I know he was looking over to this right now, but let's say it's going to happen again. I hope it's going to uh, come by and do it again. The first penalty call is on Brad Marchand as the power play is on for Carolina Hurricanes. They have not scored and made a win since the last game was happening the, at the last postseason of the game. But looking for the other end, there might be another way that they can try to help them out. Now on the other side of it, they are on its way. Ako right toward the corner. Now we have his Teravainen right toward the back. Skedgy right towards the right. In alone is Sebastian Ako. Then we have a cross from here is Jacob Slavin. Stopped by Linus Allmark. And God kind of mean, and Smetchikov will be right toward in the left of the center. So the starting goaltender for the Canes is Frederick Anderson. Now Frederick Anderson is really like like a, a genius genius save. He was able to do one of his uh, better uh, techniques of the score. The debut should just really not turn out very hard. But in, in that case, think of it this way. When you're thinking about how hard it will be doing it, you might just thinking about yourself, you've got a good key. This matchup, this rivalry, it may be turning out to be a very tough one to go with the Atlantic Coast Showdown and the Metropolitan in the other end. They really are trying to make that one a lot harder than they have done. Hoping there's another way to get this thing done straight. Here back the other way, make a shot! Stop the game by Linus Omar! The power plays over for the Kings, and Omar will take the save here. It's a great job. What I'm making a run of this one here because the Boston Bruins are keeping the puck out of here. They've done a lot of hard stuff on that. And you got to approve it. They really did a lot of technique in their rebounding. They're very on a great run. Boston Bruins wins the faceoff. Now into the other side of it we have a cross. Rogeron. Lost the puck. Slavin gives it over to Nekas. Trying to reach over to the left side. Pass to Cuck enemy. Shot and stop at the bad save here by Lena Solmar. Looking it over for the offense. Battling for the loose puck. 
escapes the zone and will regroup the puck. Now Burns will take it over to Nekis. The Kings are back into the offense zone. Buck almost lost, but Burns recovers it. Moving around the slot, it's stopped me. Linus Hallmark put in a secondary save. Leaving enough room, and Carlo will take it over right towards the Zacha. Zacha will have it across here into the offense zone. Looking for the run. That's a save made by Anderson. Zacha trying to kick it out of here. Reaching it over toward the other side. Bergeron recovers it. Zacha shot. And it just made a one-time save by Anderson. It's very good to you see, it's very right deeply penetrating because they're really just putting the offense run. I know it is tough here, but you can't just say that for the Anderson's leaving. He wants to be keeping it here along with the with the Hurricanes. They're really saying it's, he's overrated. They really just say that it didn't really come over to it. But when you get there alone, you might have to worry about it. You figure out, hey, why is Frederick Anderson that good? Good. Well, there might be one way they can get there done. Jarvis with the puck. Now the Horn Kings are back in the offense zone, picking up the run. Looks it over. The timer of the shot is off and a save by Omar. Hago hit the chest. Bergeron right toward into the left wing. Now in the right wing and Bergeron. Jarvis with the puck. Takes it away from the offensive inbound. Marchand has the puck taken away. Charlie McAvoy trying to work it over. Orlov over again to Bergeron. Bergeron still recovering the puck without calling offside. One timer stopped by Anderson. Just only 13.34 to go in the first period. Looking for our next first goal to take it in. We are calling for Sebastian Alvo. His third line ability is putting up a lot of huge stops. Let's hope that this inbounding he can try to like keep an attack on the run for Alvo to find a man opener. McAvoy has a better defensive on a player's skill. His most of all is his intentional or great, but the working of an effort may have put it right with the stick flip. He can try to hold it up in the player and then stick the chain right out there to the other side. It is very that deep and it's part of it what they are going for and they keep it right toward the internet. These two are the toughest ones in game two. I'll be watching at night and keep an eye on here for Mark McAvoy and Oppo. Back to you guys. I'll go with the puck. Pass is this Gucci. Got it off the defender and the puck. Of a, of a stick went off target and it's gonna have to replace the new one. Wow, well, it looks like a stuck stick was definitely broken. It looks like the pup did get it right for it. Now Petrucci will give it over to Coil. Puck goes right right toward the wall and McAvoy will give it over again to Coil. Petrucci back into the offense zone. Keeps it right toward it. Coil in the middle. That padded out by Anderson. He went down very hard. Martin up right into the left wing. Shoots one with the canyon. Omar stops him with a glove save. This pretty have a great effort out there. It's a tough one to be a clearable match, and you know they're keeping an eye on it. Omar's got an X-ray vision to put right towards the defense. This offense is putting up a lot of stride ability run. They're trying to like lose it up. But sometimes, however, they are putting a tough one out there for Omar to keep it in bounding. He gets a wild save and then puts it right toward the slot. I'll be keeping an eye on him for a wild save. Keep it going and keep it strong. Martin a battle playing for the puck for the loose chain. Best will take it over right toward the right toward the slot. Saul Greer gets it to go. Rebound it stopped again. What a great defenseman for the Hurricanes. They try to stop their run. Yeah, they're telling everyone because Pesh was putting up a stick clip. That's a great stop on that helping on defense without getting a second one goal. They look like they're having a hard time out there, but they know they never gonna get that one right away from it. They're gonna need to try to like find someone else. Try to give it up at their run and then get out of here. 10 20 to go, no score in the first period for game two. Now Shatsy will win the faceoff here, and Goddess Fear will have a puck. Chatsy and lost the chain! Frenchy to Pasternox and Nosen will take it over. Carolina back in the on the attack. Nosen try to fire it around. Step on shot! Rebound it and scores! That will be Pat Paul Shatsy with 22 goals in the playoffs. He only had he only had 11 goals in the playoffs, and now they're looking for a way to get down. 
Whenever you call that Shazni was putting a right in the offense, this was all it did turn out. What a terrific start here for the Canes. They really are starting to go right toward it. The slot is very that dip, deeper trading. They're really on to a great start. Here's Shatsy. We'll try to take it over right to step on. Shot stop again by Linus Olmar. Tatcha will try to recover the puck, and now the Bruins are on the attack. In the Kane zone. Move around and slide. That's stopped on the defender and a save by Anderson. Dion gets a step on and now it's Shatsney. Going for two. Hits it off the pad here for the goaltender. Goddard over to Shatsney and now step on right toward the corner. That says Outshot takes it over. 2 on one attack opportunity. Shot stop again by Frederick Anderson. Hurricanes. Oh, and lost the puck with the pass. Orlov gives it over in now into the right wing and passes the Bergeron shot. That's padded off again by Anderson. 7-3 to go in the first period. Carolina had a 1-0 lead with an early start. Nekis trying to pull it in with a fast break. Reaching inbound. Trapped up in the corner. Orlov gives it to McAvoy. Now McAvoy fires it off across to Marchand. Marchand right in in the center. Shot stopped by, by Anderson with the glove. 6.46 to go in the first period. Trying to get an answer in to get a tie. During the, during the late goings of this period, Carolina gets their first goal, a 1-0 lead in game two. Bergeron wins the faceoff. Hit off the pad right over the wall. Kicks the puck out of here. And now they're going to get a penalty call. It will be a slashing call. And Carolina will get another power play to give it off. It's not very complicated when you always say that Patrice Bergeron is having a nightmare on a start. Game 2 is getting a lot that hard. Not to confuse anybody, they're very not helping at all. Second time power play is on for the Carolina Hurricanes after a slash is being whistled. 6.32 to go in the first period. Still need to try to answer back. With Jersey. Oh, he, the Navo got bumped out with the face. Oh, that's going to hurt. Somebody better get the replacement there, a medical retreatment. Svetlakov gives it over to Skedji. Navo oh, still on ice. Not sure if he's clear enough. And Svetlakov almost went in, and it's Olmark with the stopping save. Now to hold the play with only under six minutes to go. Sebastian Ajo is still looking fine, but it might be very uncomfortable if he, I don't know if they went right toward the face or it went from the helmet mask because it was right toward the, right toward in front of it uh, before it went to the top of the helmet. I had to look at the replay. I did see that. It looks like it was going to be right toward the, uh, the facial. Right toward the right toward the clear vision from the helmet. I mean, he's fine, but he's not always uh, trying to like keep it out of here. They're really trying to like keep move move him out of here for sure. I mean, Sebastian Malco, he's still good. Burns will have the puck here now with only 35 seconds of the power play of the Carolina. Ago right into the slot, moving in front, and it's glove saved by Omar. Under five minutes to go in the first period. They're trying to get it over and get it out. Now they're still ready to take the face-off attack. Still a 1-0 lead. With the face-off win, here's Skeggy. Skeggy, Chelsea scores! Knocks the bottle out and he has two in a game. That's 12 goals for the playoffs. Carolina have the extension 2-0 in the series. Paul Shatsy already been showing off like he was doing in the first period. But you were saying that whenever Shatsy was putting up an uncomfortable goal, he was like already on fire. Just starting it up with the run, and they were really are trying to like keep him going. Not when everybody's getting a call out of that. They really are just saying that we've got company. This is what we do here for Shatsy. And we can't let him get in it. But Chastney, he just got away with that. With the shot, Teravine, it's blocked. Zacha right into the center of the zone. 
Goes Bumble down on Burns. Slavin. Slavin goes locked down. Battle for the loose puck. Recovers it, and now Nekis will give it over. Orlov's got the puck. Going toward the inside. Needs to regroup again. He dishes the pass to Kreji. Moves it quickly over to David Pasternak. Marchand, broad shot! Stopped again by Frederick Henderson. Three minutes to go in the first period. Neck is still on the attack. 2 and 0 is the score. And is in alone. McAvoy takes it over. And now Marchand will have the puck here. With a new line change for Carolina. Here's Marchand. Goes right to McAvoy. Orlov shot. It's blocked by Jarvis. Jarvis really got a good handle at the crouch down. That's what he does. Crouch it down. Got a good block. DeBrus takes it over. And now with only 2.09 to go. DeBrus finding an open man. And Spachikov takes it over. Carolina regroups the puck. And now Pest gives it off into the offense zone. One on one opportunity. Gloved and saved by Omar. We're nearing down 90 seconds in the first period. Two is just getting a lot that started. Teams are ready to take the face off in the inbound. Carolina extends with a 2 0 lead in the first period. Carolina goes back over with the offense attack to continue to run. Sketchy went down. Best shot went off wide. Off the defender. Fast gives it sketchy. Now by Martin. Rebound the ball by Saul. Fast! Oh, Omar save! They're really a show at all because a lot of rebounding was put in, in, in cross. That's what's what they're doing. Cross checking the pass? They really done that. For Jersey shot! And Anderson's is gonna hold it with only 38 seconds in the first period. Getting a little bit warmed up again to move it out of here. Now they're ready to do another face-off here in the offense side in the Carolina zone. Saul wins the faceoff. Dehan right over, right in around the net. Raises it over. Martin Nook to fast. 20 seconds in the first period. Trying to leave some open room. Pass to Saul. Lindholm takes it over. Coyle trying to get a look at the goal. Looks it over. Anderson save. And he's going to hop in for the whistle, and that will end the first period. Well, it's really not clear because that was happened before because Frederick Anderson really does it all. He made that one of stopping in time before the end of the period. And Goddess Fear will clear it up. And now we'll end the first period. Two goals for the Canes. Shatsy has two goals. Looking for his hat trick in the second game. And we'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the conference finals as we're about to start the second period of game two. Here we go right on the start as we're about to get started right now. Here's we have of course here is Fan. He will take a look at how he, how the statistics was being reached out for the Canes to start off. Well the Canes are really are putting up a pronouncement in this game. First they beat against the, the first team of the New York Islanders. Secondly, they did beat against the New York Rangers, the four game in the street. It's a shutout win here that they are putting up here in New York. Rangers are having enough with them. Since they were played for the last game of the season, postseason was very that difficult. But they can't be losing it over an hour to vent this run. They're really well trying to like keep them right toward it, and they never really made it that far. So now, they're trying to like maintain it and get right into the Hurricanes toward the next part of it in, in the matchup. Right now, with the start of the first two goals, it was Paul Shatsney that had two goals in the start. He made that one good, and looking for his third hat trick to get up in game two for three goals in the game. They're very really that tough, and I mean, honestly, they've been tough. Here's to Bruss, right toward the corner. Diagonal pass to Marchand, and back over to Bergeron. Bergeron shot, oh, saved by Anderson. Slavin on a lockdown cell, looking for his way free. And Burns will try to dish it off to Jarvis. Here's Jarvis on a one-on-one -on -one attack. Puck going to the other side, and now McAvoy right toward the right wing, past the Pasternox. Pasternox looking it over with the, with the cross between the leg, and Anderson picks it out. 
Slavin, Slavin back to Nekis. Now in the right wing. Oh, went down. Terroyan stop saved by Omar. Kakemi with the puck, and now Pasternak tries it again. He gives off to Zacha. Kakemi back to Skiji. Nekis right toward the left wing. Back pass. It's broken up. Pasternak right into the left wing, and now into the offense zone. Goes down. Trying to recover the puck here, and now trying to get away with it. Oh man, this was a little battle collision between between my two reigns, Borgeron and Gronkenemy. Yeah, and I'm worried that tough they can't be losing it again because they want to make a pick on them. They have to look for the man-to-man -man players. Find someone who's covering. You don't want to get away with that one really long because if it does, you're going to be out there for a ton of players to be up at the breakdown. Furbuck shots blocked. He recovers and now gets the Lindholm over to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi! Sketchy takes the puck away. Hurricane's on a fast break. Sketchy goes down. Lindholm bait deep past the coil. And coil moving around it again. Stull will take the mark. In a driving set of chain. Stull trying to look at an open clear vision. And Lindholm stops the puck with the shot. Frederick right over again to Bertuzzi. Here's Bertuzzi right into the left wing, the right wing, I should have, excuse me. Nose in over right into the right wing, now into the left wing. And a puck goes up and out of, out of play. 13.35 left remaining in a second period. These two are the top ones looking for another goal to put up a release bit. And you know about Frederick Anderson, that's what he always done. Because of his moment, really steps on for the toughness of his inbound. And Lena Solmar, with X-ray vision, it really showing it off like he did. Now Garnasphere gives it over to Stepan. Stepan shot, it's blocked by Forward. Forward gives it over to Nosek, and now on its way to Halfway. Halfway moving around, shot, rebound, Anderson save. Neon right into the left wing. Rolling into the right, Dehan. Dehan can't find a man opener. Clifton up back to Greer. The Bruins firing the puck around the net to keep it out. Dehan gets a push out. Take a look at this. Oh, the rumble. Nobody has ever saw that. And this was going to be a hard chain off. They're never seeing that too far because of that Bruins is like putting a push out of the way. Wiping does this call? I mean, don't get yourself handling it if you're going to do that. Step on! Oh, he made that save for Linus Allmark. And halfway, back toward the left wing. Does block down the fences on Slavic. Burns has the puck right into the offense zone, now finds again. Travis trying to pick him up. Stuck with it now, and now Orlov has the puck right back to it into the Bruins territory. Here's Burns, try to pick it up loose. Try to stop the inbound. McAvoy, now back again to Orlov. Orlov trying to go right to the offense zone to pick it up inbounding. And Burns will take it over. Aho with the puck. Now by Spetsikov. Stick lifted. Now reaching across is McAvoy. Boston will take their turn to go right from here. Pass back to Orlov. Now looks over to Frederick. Frederick over to Nosek. Shoots! Save by Anderson. Anderson really got that one close. Really been already a good playing amount. Just got a lot of it more attentional work on there. Still a lot of time left in the period, passing the midway mark. Two and nothing is where we stand. Carolina still looking for an answer back. Anderson has 22 saves, looking for 25. Slavin right toward the offense zone, back to Svechikov. He gives it to Jarvis. Jarvis up and stuff the play by Omar. Gives a pass to Slavin. Loving to Ago. Ago inbounding and now inside. Look at his own. That's stopped again by Omar. Bertuzzi got the puck here across from the right way. Looks it over. Goes down and Slavin will take it here. Just for fast over to Martinuk. Move around the end zone. 
Martin up, still lying at Oh, 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 oh Mark, what a beauty. That's really a tough defense. They're really showing it off like they did. However, you can't give West on this player. What a tough run. The first shot. That shot down. Bergeron blocked away. Saved by Anderson. 23 saves in a row. Martin up to Slavin. Slavin right toward the middle and now working his way on their offside. Offense of the run picked up. Slavin locked out and DeBrus gives it back to Lindholm. Losing quickly over to Pat Patrice Bergeron. Brad Marchand will have the puck inbounded. Heard the bus. Locked with him a slot. Stopped again by Anderson. 24 saves is where he left off with 6.43 to go. Now they always say Pat Patrice Bergeron, he never shows it up. But in that case, he does. Postonok says it's only gold tanning and make that one to make it go quick. It calls sniper ability. The sniper of the shot really does happen to be one time particular. When he has that sniper in, he can try to fire it away and then take one down. This one is going to happen again. I'm keeping an eye here on Postonok and looking for a snipe with a snipe. Back to you. Anderson, 24 saves. Lindholm right over it again and now it's been broken up. Now Kennedy with the puck, trying to look over here. With the eye on the target, that padded out by Omar. Nagas, pass broken up. Now Sketchy over again to Lindholm. Lindholm right toward the rough left wing, shoots one. That's blocked it up by a defender and a save by Anderson. 25 saves in a row, looking for 30. Sketchy, right in the right wing. 4.50 to go in the second period. The penalty's called. That's going to be a slash, and Boston is in trouble. Oh, no. This is not good. Lindholm is already in the penalty box. It's not happening. They're very unhappy enough how they are playing like that. That's not what we do here for fun. And Kane's on to the power play for the third time in game two. The Bruins are in trouble having a nightmare start uh, and in the end of the second period. The save me comes up by Omar. Oh, the Bruins! Nice block! That's a great defensive set. And Carla will swing it up. Carolina back into the offensive zone for Burns and now swings it off to Nozick. Knows it right over into the right wing. Gets pumped out. And the shot. Stopped again by Omar. Coyle rebounds it. Try to take it out of here. Now Goddess here will take the puck here for the off onside and a run to Burns to knows it. Knows it pass. It's broken up. Here's Zacha. Looking for a shorthanded goal. With the shot, and glove save by Anderson. Oh man, that would have been tough, and get on the board. They really never got a goal in between from the last period. But I think this might be tough, and no one has ever seen it. Carlo takes the puck, a close call, no penalty on Boston. He's coming out, ready to join the play. Turbine and deep pass to Jarvis. Power plays empty, and now it goes back to a full strength for the Bruins. They always keep him out here for sure because you know that Satcha was trying to look for the short-handed goal game. They really never got in that point because the last part of the game was in the first round against the Penguins. That was clear. They never really caught on like they did. Narcus around here. That saved me by Omar. Now, Frederick over again to Carlo. Here's Carlo right into the right wing. Moves around again! Stopped again by Anderson! That's 27 saves of the night! Shatsy right toward in the slot. Go right from the wing, and Marchand will have it back. The Brust will have the puck here. Over to Bergeron, fires, and it goes wide. Now we're approaching down to a last minute to go in the second period. The Canes are in a domination. With the better play inbound to have that drive opportunity. Then the Bruins with the goal. There's no way to escape. They really are up to a stop start. 
Hey, you have, Jay, you were putting a, like, a little red light on them. They really want to cross them out. That's a hard one to maintain. Hurricanes back in offense zone. The deep pass over to Martinook. Fast, right towards the right wing. In the inside, stole! Caught through the way by Omar. Omar will off with a whistle, and now we're just coming down to the end of the second period. Just one last face off before the end nearby. The win for Boston. And that will end the second period. They are still getting over it, trying to look for the goals for the Bruins. We'll take a quick break, but we'll come back after this. It's time for the third period. This is where we all come in for the third period of the second game. On now to start off, and this time it is a win to get into success and try to look for an answer for the Bruins' goal. Now for this one, they were tough on that one. How did it really turn out that there was a hard inbound? Well, it was a very close call. I know it was tough, but don't be surprised if you ever see it, because I really are putting an offense run. They're really on to a very great start, trying to keep it over and under. They really want it all. McAvoy over to Nebraska, the penalty's called on Carolina with the holding! Bergeron shot! Rebound again! Oh man, that's topped out! Anderson now has 30 saves, and now the wait is over. Sebastian Aho in the penalty box. It's time for the Bruins power play. Now the Bruins are ready to get back into the game. With the start of a third period, it's a 2-0 lead, looking for one to hit it all. Coyle! Oh, the shot went wide. Still have a lot of time to think about it here, but don't let it go off the chain, because if someone's on you, that's going to be deflected out of here. Bastardox right over to get to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi right into the right wing. Pass to Satcha. Hit the slot! That move many bodies in a way, and Satcha will have to clear it out, and Coyle back again to McAvoy. That long pass won't connect. Anderson holds a save. 32 saves in the game for Anderson with just 18 minutes to go. Now they're still looking for a goal to kick, take one here. They only need to find an answer. If you're tuning with us for a new episode of United Man Sanity, we're going to give this one a rundown here for, for June before we head into... The show of BFDI and MA Sand Experience. That will be one more episode for a 2022-23 season. And then we'll get you back here on October for the part of the newest episodes from Final 5 to Final 2, 2023 of the year to 24. Now the shot is stopped again by Anderson. Flies the puck away. Moving around the back of the net. And now Pasternox will have it over to Bertuzzi. Here's Satcher on the other way. 17 minutes to go in the third. Looking for a goal. And Coyle! Scored and saved by Anderson. While he's almost ready to get out of the penalty box, that was going to be a close range to beat the goaltender. That will be tough. Brian Chan has it snappy. His ultimate range of his successful moment brings out with the first game of the night. But for the second game, they're trying to answer right away to make the call. If he would have that in there, they would have that one and take from here. The power play is over. And try to battle in bounding. Frederick Anderson says, not this time. It's still my key to trap it. There's no way that the poke check that would be coming in to take the puck away and count it as a, as a goal. They will say, no goal. The goalie had a save. Oh, easy stop here for Frederick Anderson. Jarvis trying to take the puck out. Here's Lindholm back again to Carlo. Now pass to DeBrus. DeBrus moving in. Shot! And it goes to flick it right toward in front of the, of the fender. Pass trying to go over again to Svechikov. Moves it quickly over to Sebastian Ajo. Ajo in the middle of the center. To Sechikov, right around him. Ago got blocked up, but it's stopped away by Omar. 
Lynn Holm get a little bumble down to find Carlo. Marchand, right into the right, left wing. Pass up to Bergeron, shot, rebounds. No, it went right near the net. Marchand again to Lynn Holm. To Bergeron, and it stopped again on a defensive player. That plays off of that first play of a deflection without putting a goal for the Bruins. They wanted to keep him out, but as always, the defensemen are turning that easily. It's never too late to make the goal and then try to stop the run. And the pressure is keep in balance. Bring it on. Here's Ozan, shot, and it's stopped by Omar. Terrible and recovers the puck, and now Karkenemi, shot. Almost went in the net, and it's Frederick keeping it out. With Jersey back into the offense zone, looking for another run. The shoot one! That's a stop bumble saved by Anderson. He has 36 saves. That is incredible. They are not quitting here. They are not giving up. We haven't made the midway mark of the period frame. Got Kennedy with the puck. Now Burns will take it over to Nekas. Nekas right toward in the center. The shot, and it's deflected off of the player. Nekas tries again. That's still out of the bound. McAvoy looking over with the player. Open offense. Now gives it off. Here's, here's Frederick. Frederick swinging around from the back. Slavin right into the center of the board. Get a little bit bumbled up here in the offense zone. McAvoy right toward the right way. Keeping the puck alive is Terabinen. Sends it deeper right around the net and stall with the puck. Terabinen in the middle. That went wide off the target. Terabinen tries to regroup it again. Stops inbound. Near the cage. Now out of the cage is Slavin. And a bad pass. Sacha trying to answer with the goal. Here's Frederick. Oh, he just did not have the right timing to do it. Well, he didn't see the puck where it was going because he was right near the blade. He didn't kick it in because of that when they were trying to keep the puck right toward the stick, but it didn't really get through it. It's a bad timing to put a release. Save me by Olmark. Martin to try to swing it across back to Slavin. And Pasternak with the steal. Here comes the man. Oh, he went down, bumbled in the neutral zone. Slavin stops on the blue line. McAvoy, right toward the left wing. Gives the pass to Kredgy. Kredgy, right into the offense zone, picking up a steal. To Pasternak, shot, deflected off of Slavin. Jasper Fast, now regrouping the puck in the offense zone, trying to move it around the screen. And the penalty's called. It's going to be an interference on Bruins. That'll be Charlie McAvoy. The Canes are doing a, this one again in the fourth time in a row. Well, nobody's happy right now because they know they always got to stop on them. But Kane say, we had enough. We are pretty abounding, and this is what we do. You don't mess defenders up. That's what they need to do. Marjan lost the puck in here. Not a short-handed goal this time. It was a, we'll try to give it over with only 9-10 to go. In the way. Oh, go! And scores! That's where it goes in, Sebastian Ajo got a good trick shot and made the accountable to have a 3 nothing lead. All you say now, Brett Burns, to Sebastian Ajo, that's where the puck is going to get inbounding on the side. He was wide open from the net range. The cost of it was not really that offensive. They were really on to a breakdown score. They are wanting to get this done, and they want their turn to make the win. They really are putting up a hard time to put in an offense run, and that's why the power play goal was not the only option, but they did now. They always know, and this is whatever happens right now. I've got to tell you this one here, Meepon. They really are tough. Number one seeds is no joke. That's right. It is no joke, and it's not really. It's real, and it's just going to keep on getting stronger. Even worse. Zaitcha! 
And no penalty called on Carolina. It always been a good defenseman run. Jarvis with the puck now in entering the right in the zone. Lindholm will have by. Pass to Zatcha and now again to McAvoy. McAvoy over to again to Pasternak. Fires around the net. Pets giving it over in the corner. Taking the puck away for the inbound. Puck leads the zone and now knows it. Fires it across the two with seven minutes remaining. McAvoy over to Pasternak. Trying to keep it out of here. And unfortunately, it looks like McAvoy is having a hard time to try to get back into this. Bojeran. Pass to Lindholm. The Bruins are adding another pass defensive run to put it inbound. Oh, hello! That was the biggest hit in this neutral faceoff zone. Bergeron over to get a march in. Shot! Good save by Anderson. Now will be 37 saves, looking for 40 in a row. Lots of time left to range the period. Canes have already been on fire for this game. A 3-0 score. Now Bergeron. Pass to Marchand. Shot. Stopped by Teravainen. Here's a puck in play inbound. Teravainen gets crushed up. Carlo recovering it. Keeps it out. Now finds the brusque. 5.20 to go in the third. Looks it over to Bergeron. Rebound is put it away. Neck is right into the offense zone on a two-on-one attack. Looks it in front. Carlo takes it inbounding and Fink carries it away. Carlo stiffening it out a little bit. They said, no, it's mine. Got his fear. Right toward the left wing and now gives it off to Terrabine in. Deep pass to Deckus. Carolina back in the offense zone. Trying to go for four. And a stop save by Omar. 4-10 to go in the third. They're trying to get in it. Carlo back the other way. Pass to Halfaway. Halfaway. Now in the offense zone. Finds Nozick. Nozick on the carry. With the shot. Had a save here by Frederick Anderson. 38 saves. Looking for 39-40. to 40. On a run and mounting, it's not really what they all seemed. But they were really are just trying to keep it out. That was everybody's idea to step it off. Forward, back to Nozick. Nozick, right into the slot. Going for the ankle breaking. No a joke. Halfway, and there's the goal! There is no shutout scores in this game. They are now on the board. That went very that tough, and you can't just say that Garner Halfway really had it around it, hitting the goalpost, and deflecting the net. The Bruins are on the board. A 3-1 start, but the clock is winding down under three minutes. Slavin with the puck. Leaves out of the zone is Martino. Now stall in the bound. Looks it right in the front of the net. Keeps it alive for stall. Martino has kept it out. Martino trying to give it off to stall. To fast and scores. Back the other way it goes. 15 for just for fast. An extension is now a 4 1 lead. Cage are in a lock in transition because Jesper Fuss has a good timing run. He definitely looked at the eye of it, but he wanted to make that one clear to have an open look. He did find an open open shot, and he did have that one right around Omar. That is a tough inbounding. I know this was very really difficult because they couldn't get there that far. It's blocked it up by the defender. Frederick and Slavin takes it over. And goes down. Chesper Fast. Getting a second goal in this game. Forward, back the airway, and Clifton over again to Frederick. Just about 90 seconds in the first period, trying to get an answer with two. For Terzi, fast, takes it up. Now the Bruins to Kane zone. Bruins zone, fast. Moves it around the door to net. Down to the last minute. That shot went too wide. And offsides the whistle on Carolina. We do have an answer, and it's Sebastian Ako as OJ stands by. I had a great feeling about Sebastian Ako. He's still recovering, but at this this moment, he had a great start scoring drought. He was not injured at all. He was okay. 
but only just to hurt because that was very tough to try to keep it out. He's been on an excellent run to keep his dream alive and ready to move to Carolina for game three and four. I'll be watching him for the next part of it. Back to you. Now for the win for Sebastian Arco. 45 seconds. What a deflection! Sebastian Arco has two goals in the game. Are you serious that Sebastian Arco did this? This is like turning out to be one of the luckiest play ever I've seen. Yeah, I got a good replay out of it. For the third eye, Sebastian Arco had two goals tied up with Paul Shatsney, but I don't think nobody's going to get a hat trick with the goal. If he does, well, that's it. It really does happen much of a bunch of the defended offense. They didn't really have to carry it all, and it didn't not really want to take it over from here. Now Pasternak right toward the offside, onside, and shot saved! Pasternak gives it out. 39 saves, and stopped by Anderson. He now has 40 saves. 22 seconds to go in the third period. Oh, man, the Kings are saying that we're coming back to tie the series up. Yeah, that's what's my prediction to say, that it's going to be a close call. The neck of the run? It's not an offense run. It's blocked it up. Burns with the puck. Now it goes to Slavin. Such a club. Right toward the right wing. The Bruins will have their puck in the offense zone. And Chetsukov clipped it. And in the run. And Jarvis saved again. And that shows a carries with the Carolina win in game two. They now tied up one and one series. Final score is five and one. Well, it's a lot of big display because of Frederick Anderson, he really does it all. And that's why you have to give credit to him. As you run right now for the broadcast by broadcast partner Fan and OJ. This is me phone four, and we always say thank you for watching and thank you for tuning with us for the second game of the Eastern Conference Finals. Stay tuned for the next one. As for tomorrow, we'll be in Western Conference Finals to have it all. Thanks for joining us, and good night. All right, me fun. Thank you so much. This has been a great pleasure to have you here for Game 2 at the Garden. Now we're at this part. It's time for three-star players of the game. And the only player this reason does have to be two Carolina players to be professional. The third star we have is Sebastian Ajo with two goals. He only had that one down, but had that good look, deflected right toward the net, and right in it. The second star, we have to give it to Paul Schatzney. This is because of what he is doing. The power play goals was putting up a nice one, knocking the bottle out of here, and that was why where he had it hidden it across from here. And Frederick Anderson is your first star player of the game, had 47 saves. It definitely did happen once before, but now you know. They never really have that one. Almost had 50 saves this game. But it's been an incredible night for him. Frederick Anderson on a strong move. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 48 shots on goal for Boston and Carolina for 46. 24 hits for Boston over 13. Then 602, 608 on time on attack for Carolina and 528 for Boston. 90% passing for Boston over Carolina. 23 faceoff wins over 16 for Boston. Penalty kill was only 8 minutes for Boston and no power play goal. Only 2 power play goals as their power play was only 6.16 to go in for each period. They had 2 power play goals for Carolina. Thanks to Paul Schatzny and Sebastian Ago, they done really good. So that ends up for the second game of the Eastern Conference Finals. We'll see them return on Friday's game to keep your eyes out for the next one. I guess that's pretty much it for this game. I wish you all have a great evening and enjoy your day for the new part of the month. And yes, it's Pride. We always say it's a great month to be there. Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful evening. Peace out, folks, for a while as the Eastern Conference Finals at the Stanley Cup on EA Sports Style. This is Paintbrush. See you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.